Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Hypermind Vanilla Season 5. I hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. I'm back at my, well, newfound humble abode. We've done a little bit of work to it since we were last together, I believe. So let's turn around here and take a look. Okay, so first off, you notice uh, there are not as many trees around here. I wanted to make sure that I get the place a little bit safer. It's not all the way safe. We've still got to light that area. But over here, you see, we've got a little bit of a pattern going on. And if we bring up the F3 screen, let's take a look at this one. I talked about this in the Witch Farm overview on Season 4. And if you look at the XYZ coordinates, specifically the X and the Z, you notice that those are multiples of 10. It doesn't have to be multiples of 10. In fact, if we go over here, We've got a multiple of five on one of those. And then if we come over here, multiple of five, multiple of five. So every five blocks, I'm putting a torch down. And that should get pretty good coverage, a pretty good light coverage over the whole thing. And that's what we're going to do to get pretty good coverage over all of the perimeter, which I have started mapping out. So uh, let's go take a look at some of that first. We're going to go this way. We're going to bypass that pillar for now and then come back to it. So let's go out. Hopefully we don't meet with any surprises out this way. Okay. It was just nighttime. And then, uh, yeah, we've got the one bed sleep system. Teal Lone Wolf initially put that together for, uh, I believe that was 1.9. May have been a little bit earlier than that. And the Voodoo Beard has since converted it to the one dot. Uh, well, he's been keeping it up to date ever since they switched to data packs. So uh, right here, we've got a pillar that is marking out the halfway point on the witch hut over that way. And if we travel this direction, it is 24 plus 128 over here. The reasoning behind those numbers is that if you are 24 away from an area that's when mobs will spawn. So you have to be at least 24 blocks away from the witch hut before a farm, or well, before the farm, or before the farm would spawn anything. I'm I'm mixing up my words this evening. We're, we'll just uh, we'll just ignore that. Anyway, here's the corner. Which which direction is this? Pointing south and east. So the southeast corner. And then if we go 128 plus 24 plus 128. No, no, no. It's more than that. 128 times 2 plus 48 plus the width of the witch hut. So I've made that a square. So we're going, oh, what is the number? It's 128 times 2. That's 256 plus 48. So 302 plus, uh, is that right? 304 plus the 9 for the witch hut itself. So... 304 plus 9. We're doing math on camera. Uh, it's a basic arithmetic. So 304 plus 9. So 313. So it'll be 313 by 313 square. That's what I'm claiming for this area. We've got some plans for it. Not for the entire area, but we are going to put a slab border around it. Or some sort of border. I might build a wall. Uh, yeah, we're going to build an amazing wall be the best wall but we're going to build one all around and then around this particular area i've got some plans for what we want to do at least around here i'm not going to reveal those quite yet but you take a look around look at the scenery and see if you can guess what it is that we're going to be doing a little bit uh, kind of a raised area with a, a natural lake and river going through it yeah, I've got some plans. You notice back here, I've got some sugar cane growing. That's going to be my temporary farm until we build a little bit more of an automated one. And I've surrounded the witch hut in cobblestone. And this is giving me the border. So the witch hut itself will only spawn within this seven wide by nine long area. But I, because it doesn't quite match up to a square, I wanted to make it a perfect square. So... I am focusing just on a 9x9 nine nine square here for the quote-unquote center of the whole area. So we're going to be centering around that, 
and I've got my perimeter marked out. And yeah, it's enough about that. So the next major project we need to do here is we need to build a house. But before I build a house, uh, we need to get out the iron pick. And I need to bring you along for one of the milestones that we're going to, uh, that, that we've got to do with any particular map. Oh, before we do that, I will let you know that I have been doing some mining. And let me show you what we've got. I'm putting my valuables in this chest for now. You can see we did get down to a rather low layer in the world. So we've got some redstone, got some lapis and gold, plenty of coal, and got some more iron. So we're doing pretty well. Okay, let's let's just go down to the mines real quick. And we'll take care of the next milestone. You may have guessed what it is already, but we shall see. Let's let's drop down here. Eat a little bit of pork chops. That's my food of choice right now. It's a bit laggy because we've got a lot of people on the server right now. Pretty good set. Um, going to avoid messing with any mobs that are around. Hopefully they're not... Okay, they're above me. I don't quite know where. But which direction are we going to take? This direction? You can see it off in the distance there. Do we do that one? Let's come down this way. It's a little bit closer. There we go. We got some diamonds. We got diamonds in a couple of different spots. We're going to take care of this one for now. And then we'll see about getting some enchanting going. So that uh, we can get a better pick. So uh, this, I think we're ready. Let's turn on the chat because we'll see what, what comes in. Uh, shown every time I click in here. Some other settings get messed up, and I don't really know which ones get messed up. Let's go back to the game. All right, let's do this. All right, we got diamonds. First diamonds of the map. So that is the big, big milestone this time around. How many did we get? That was eight. Okay, and we got eight. So one for each. Okay, that's, that's respectable. We can make a diamond pick out of that, and that means that we can... Go ahead and maybe get a little bit of obsidian. Let's do that, shall we? Let's make a make some sticks and then a diamond pick. That's what we want. Okay. Got the iron armor. We'll deal with we'll we'll keep iron armor for a little while, but there is some obsidian this way. I think that's our our next major objective here. It's not the best pick to be doing this with, but we do need obsidian in order to make a an enchanting table so let's grab the water bucket and we'll make this a bit safer and then we can get a few more diamonds right uh do we get that for now we leave those let's leave those for now put up another torch and then we'll do this put our water bucket in here and let's get some obsidian we need Ideally, 10 for a nether portal, but I think we're going to avoid that for now. Yeah, given that it's taking so long to get this obsidian, I think we just focus on an enchanting table for now. Okay, we got those two. Let's get that. All right, so we got the ice bucket challenge. And then a couple more. Oh my goodness, this takes forever. I'm used to over on the server I share with my kids that I've got full diamond gear and it's got efficiency five and unbreaking and mending and all the things on it. Even this, okay, yeah. So I, th I think that's where we're gonna stop. We need some enchants in on this pick. And we need those soon. So let's not worry about the rest of the diamonds for now. We'll come back, hopefully get some fortune on one of these picks. Or on the, you know, I put it on the iron pick if necessary. Okay, so we clean that out. And yeah, there we go. Okay, so we've got that. I don't have the remaining items for the obsidian or the enchanting table. And I don't have everything I need for a full enchanting setup. So... Uh, some of that's going to have to come a little later. 
And it's one of the reasons why I've been keeping those cows around. You may have seen them walking around. It's because we're also going to start our farm today. Let's come back up here. It's almost nighttime. We're going to put our farm down here. Okay, so I've done a little bit extra cleanup down there. And, and yeah, so uh, that is how we're going to be growing some wheat so that we can breed those cows up and get a more permanent solution as far as our leather goes. I do have some here, not enough for much in the way of books, but uh, what we should do right now is we do need to make a couple of books. So let's get that and over here. Okay, so I think they're they're over in Spawn Town. Let's make some paper, and we'll see if we can get a book going. Is that a thing? Well, we may have to do that. Is that how that goes? Yeah. And we can make an enchanting table. Excellent. But we can't do anything quite yet with it. All right. So we need a little bit more in terms of paper let's where, where is this paper more paper lots of paper and also what we should do is make oh, we'll just go with a stone hoe for now and we'll get the seeds out and nighttime is upon us okay good somebody else slept mrs wells night happened to sleep the night away which is good so we don't have to deal with any bad guys all right let's come down here and we'll at least get started on our farm. Real basic, it's not going to be the most efficient thing, but you know what? We don't need efficient, we need a farm. Uh, we need good enough, all right? So let's do that. We have plenty of seeds, so we can make that. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. There was a an advancement for that. Yep, there we go. And boom. All right, we got that. Then let's go over here a little bit more. Um, No, no, I don't want the light right there. That's, how many is that? Yeah. Okay, so we can only go four. Yeah, let's go get that one. Uh, how, how much more is left on this? Okay, we'll just go all out, plant all the seeds. And this is really just from knocking out all the grass around the area. Is that, that's it, that's it. Any more? Maybe we get some more and completely fill up the area. I don't have any bones. We did get, did we get Monster Hunter on camera last time? I don't know if we did. Yeah, I, I had hoped to get Monster Hunter, but I think I think I took care of that at some other point. I Maybe not. I don't know. Go over here. Okay, we got a few more seeds. Let's plant those, and then we will get on with the rest of our, our time. All right. So we do have another cow right here, and then I should have... Or maybe there's some wheat in here do we have any no wheat hmm let's at least get another piece of leather for our books okay we got two cows right there which means that i can sacrifice this cow over here let's get him oh and no leather Oh, that's terrible. Okay. Well, oh well. Um, at best, I can get three books out of this thing. Let's get, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I don't, I don't know if I have enough. Yeah, there's one pig, two pig. All right, good. All right, so uh, the next order of business is right here. Uh, is this where I want it? Yeah, this is where I want it. I'm going to build a starter house right here. And let's just look at the landscape which I think is pretty, okay, so we got a, a nice hill structure, and then over here, what do we got? 
thought there was a something I was looking at here. Let's come around the side. That I really thought was interesting. I liked this. Over here. I, I guess you can only see it from... Yeah. Okay. So we got that. I was going to... I was telling my kids I was going to put a poll up in the screen. But maybe I won't do that. Uh, I was wondering, you know, what... If we should leave this as an overhang or fill it in and use this as a basement and storage. But I think given that I'm the way I'm seeing this now, I think we will just fill this area in and use this area as storage. So yeah, maybe, hmm. you know what? I will put it as a pole, use it as storage, fill it in or, or maybe dress it up some cut out that area and have a little walkthrough. What do you think? We'll put it as a poll in the screen. So top right corner of the video, you should see something showing up. So be sure to put in your, uh, your opinion on that. What do you think? So we will put the starter home up here on the top, but I realized I've been going for a little bit on the recording. I don't really know what kind of a starter home I want. I do know that I want to get the full enchanting setup in here. And I want to approach the starter home. I want to have maybe a back door through here. Yeah, I mean, so much potential right here. We could knock that out right there, dig through, dress this up a bit, maybe make it a little bit, like add some stone or something to strengthen it a bit, but then knock this out and attach those two. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I'll, I'll put it as a poll, but you can probably hear in my voice and the way I'm describing this, the way I'm leaning towards. So I will take it into consideration. Oh, we got... Oh, there's a cat. The cat. The cat's around here somewhere. The black cat. Maybe, maybe it'll stay around for a bit longer and we can see about getting that. But, oh, there's a cow over there. Let's see if we get some... Some leather from that. I, I know I'm kind of uh, going all around and oh, okay, plenty of cows. Let's see. Hopefully, one more, one more thing of leather. Yes, please. Nothing. Did we? Nothing. The uh, random number generator is not, not with me today. Wow, Th four cows total and no other leather that's terrible any other cows around here i don't want to get too far afield because i'm not really set up for the nighttime Ooh, that's a skeleton no thank you all right let's head back to our hidey hole our our stolen home that's where what we're gonna call it for now and um yeah what i need to do is figure out a design for the starter home and we need to make sure that I'm going the wrong direction. We need to make sure that we've got plenty of, I, yeah, there we go. Uh, plenty of room for an enchanting setup and then also a bed. And once we get a starter home built, we can move out from there and do some testing on whether that thing will actually spawn witches or not. So. Let me, uh, let me go off camera for a bit, figure out a little bit of a design, and then I will come back and, and we'll do a little bit of building. So I'll see you in just a bit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back and something I wanted to do real quick. Can we make this thing? I don't, let's see. Is this how it goes? Yeah, so we got a shield. Let's put that in our offhand. I saw a skeleton. I've, I was over here uh, just staying logged into the game so that all of the wheat would start growing. And, and then it happened to turn nighttime. And we've gotten some mobs around here. But I thought I saw one over here. Let's see. Is he still here? Nope. Nope. Gone. Um, 
could have, since there are dogs around, it could have gotten scared away. There was a skeleton. But maybe the dogs took care of the skeleton. All right. No more skeleton. Okay. Well, something that I need to do is I need to go off camera and do some collecting. The design I have, or I have in mind, that I put together over in my creative testing world, is it's going to need a little bit of birch. And not, not just straight up birch like that. We're going to use the stripped variety. But that means I need to go collecting. But before we do that, something I want to bring you along for is this right here. Oops. Um, we need to get some wheat. So we got that going. And let's just fill those in. Do I still have the hoe? I put that away, I think. Let's come over to... Oh, that might be a bit tricky. Can we get on here without? Yes. Okay. You never know when going from water up to the tilled land, whether we'll be fine or not. Apparently we will. Okay. So I wanted to bring you along for the next achievement in terms of the farming goes. So let's go find these cattle. And let's see if they're in in need of some food. Let's do this and boom. Yay. Okay. So we've got the cattle breeding game going on. Okay. Uh, so at this point, I'm going to go off camera again and I'm going to go collect a bunch of material and then we'll come back and do a little bit of house building. So I think what I've got should be fine. I'll probably be breeding those cattle off camera and we'll see if we can get the full enchanting setup or not. But, but yeah, let me, let me go collect some material. I'll see you in a little bit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I have said I was going to collect some material and I have been. You see, we've got some birch trees and I've been cutting those down. But then I came out of my little hidey hole here and found... This, look, gifts from MC Soap the Great. Look at that. Oh, man. So I guess MC Soap the Great has been around and has come over this way, made the trek over, and looks like he brought some kingly gifts. But if you know about MC Soap the Great, you will know what that's all about. And sure enough, MC Soap the Great is my camera account. And that means that we are a about to do a little bit of a third person time lapse replay mods not available and so that means we have to get a regular recording session up with another character so uh, he is in survival mode which means he's going to need a place to uh, stand so i'm going to build a tower and we're going to get the music rolling and we're going to build that house see you on the other side
welcome back ladies and gentlemen we have a house and i have about i, I don't know about five minutes before it is time to uh, for the server to restart so we got to get this done quick bring this episode to a close so we've got our house hopefully you enjoyed that time lapse and did you notice the little visitors that we had while that was going through yeah i had some had a pillager patrol go through i kind of avoided them because i am not currently in possession of a bow so i did not want to mess with them and also my armor is well not so good right now so uh let's let's get into how this all is going and everything that's happened since i've built the house i have moved out of here all of the items are now over in the house so we'll take a tour about that in just a moment but let's take a look over here i've got cows let's get away from them they're they're rather noisy cows are in that pit we got some pigs over there got some sheep building up there and then i've got a farm going over here so i moved my sugar cane from under the witch hut to over here and we've got everything else planted down there all those things that mc soap the great brought in his journey across the uh, wastelands between here and spawn so yeah melons pumpkins all well i don't have any beetroot so we'll get that eventually but but yeah so there we go we got farm thing going let's go take a look on the inside of this house and i will point out one thing i went to my creative testing world where i had built this after i had built this here in survival and found i built it wrong if we look in here it's a bit cramped right in this opening hallway this was supposed to have another two blocks that way but i'm not going to go back through and redo it this is sufficient for now and we'll go with it you know it's it's a starter house so, yeah, that's that's what we're going to do. We've got storage up here in the attic. I've got the bulk items here that I'm getting out of mining. You can see I've done a fair bit of mining here. Uh, wood, crafted stuff, natural stuff. Yeah, anyway. And then down here, we still got our three diamonds we're rocking from. Uh, where did I get that? I think I had some diamonds in the way of one of my paths. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, we did make a diamond pick here. And you'll notice right in front of me, we've got a full enchanting setup. So uh, what we're going to do is take a little bit of time to do an enchanting setup or an enchantment on this. What do we got? Unbreaking three. Okay, that'll be fine. Let's see what we can get. Sharpness. And then how about on all the armor? I don't want to do this too much, take too much time unbreaking. Uh, I don't have much in the way of levels, though. Protection fire protection let's just go with this and see what we get fortune two i you know what that's respectable i can i can deal with that how about here i don't know if i want to waste the diamonds on that but another pick would certainly be good so let's make another pick shall we uh i'm currently on with a few other folks and i've got chat turned off so you guys are watching this after the fact i'm sorry i just don't know what's going to come across sometimes in chat and so i have to be careful about what gets shown on my channel so that's why i'm not showing chat right now let's see what we can get out of this diamond pick efficiency five, four would be great what do we got just efficiency four hmm efficiency four and fortune would be pretty cool if i could merge those two but We'll leave that for now, and I'll see if I can get some fortune after the, uh, you know, the, between now and the next time we meet. But over here, let's put together a couple of uh, items real quick. We're going to make an anvil, because that's useful to have. And we'll set that right there, okay? And then the other thing is, I'm, I'm, I've got a lot of these, uh, not so much the sugar cane, but I keep getting seeds, and it would be nice if I could compost those. So what we're gonna do real quick is make a composter, and then I've got chests and iron ingots. So I think I can make two hoppers here. I think that was the project that I had in mind. And there's not, there's a bed in there, but what I'm gonna do is, uh, let's see, this will break at some point here. Maybe not. That one, there we go. Okay, we got some lag going on, but 
I, I guess that's to be expected right now with, uh, well, we're still in snapshots. It's currently 20W19A. And uh, did I catch that? Yes, I did. I should probably put my armor back on. Yeah. All right. So we've got our hopper right there. Composter right there. And then another hopper on top like that. And then we'll just knock that out and it goes in there and it can't really do anything. Do I have any other? Yeah, I got chests right there so we can do that. And we should be able to grab some of these seeds. We don't need to keep all of them around. So pretty much any extras that I get out of there will go into here. And then that means we should get... Is it going to show up? I guess it takes a while for seed. There we go. Okay, so I'm getting automated bone meal, which is awesome. All right. So not too shabby for this episode. We got our starter house and uh, we've done the enchanting setup. Let's maybe show that off, shall we? Yeah. Nice. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so, think about subscribing so you can be up to date with everything going on. We will be back here on the Hypermine vanilla server. I don't know what the schedule is right now. I guess I mentioned we would probably talk about that. We're not going to get to that this time around. Maybe next time. Oh, administrative thing. I meant to bring this up earlier. If I have already, I'm sorry. But uh, I mentioned that JB was from the UK in the last video. And that's not the case. He corrected me. He's in Denmark. So it turns out that he was actually up even later than I was figuring. So JB, get your sleep. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. Hopefully you enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.